as with any endodontic instrumentation procedure, create straight line access to canal orifice and always irrigate during the instrumentation process. Establish working length by negotiating all root canals to their terminus with stainless steel hand files or reamers. EDS recommends the use of safe siders hand instruments and an apex locator to achieve proper working length. Obtain the working length with a hand file, ISO 10 or higher, preferably using an apex locator. Use the Safe Siders HF Glide Path instruments in a gentle apical pecking motion with short 2 to 3 mm amplitude strokes. Always utilize minimal apical pressure. Do not force the instruments down the canal. After 3 to 4 strokes, remove the instrument, inspect instruments for distortion, clean flutes, and repeat irrigation until reaching the full working length. Use the Safe Siders HF Shaper in the same manner. It may be necessary to reconfirm patency and working length with a hand file, ISO 15, especially in more curved canals. After reaching the working length, each instrument can be used in a brushing motion away from the external root concavities to enlarge the root canal opening as well as buccally and lingually to ensure complete removal of pulp tissue in three dimensions. Use the Safe Siders HF finisher in the same manner. It may be necessary to reconfirm patency and working length with a hand file, ISO 15, especially in more curved canals. After reaching the working length, each instrument can be used in a brushing motion away from external root concavities to enlarge the root canal opening as well as buccally and lingually to ensure complete removal of pulp tissue in three dimensions. Finishing instruments should follow canal passively to working length, then be withdrawn. Confirm the finishing instrument reaches the apical measurement. The precision gutta percha point is now fit. Verify the gutta percha point fits to length. Pre-fit the Safe Siders HF3004 master gutta percha point to ensure the point fits to length. In some cases, you may need to select the Safe Siders HF2504 point if working length is not reached with the 3004. In this case, we are using the blue 3004 point, which fits most of the time. Express Easy Fill Express onto a mixing pad. EDS recommends the use of Easy Fill or Easy Fill Express Root Canal Cement in conjunction with Safe Siders HF Precision Gutta Percha Points. Place the bi-directional spiral in a low-speed handpiece set to run at approximately 1000 RPM. Ensure that the handpiece is running in the forward direction clockwise. Adjust the rubber stop to 3 mm short of the working length. Coat the bi-directional spiral with thick layer of cement and place into the canal. The bi-directional spiral should be used 3 mm short of the working length. Move the bi-directional spiral in an up and down motion to disperse cement laterally throughout the canal. Pick up additional cement and repeat this action two additional times. Coat the apical 10 to 12 mm of the pre-fitted gutta percha point liberally with cement and insert point into the canal.
excess coronal gutta-percha can be removed by searing with a hot plugger.